I swear to God that was the thing that swung it for me. I mean, I am kind of on the fence with these. And so, because Scottish, I'm just gonna get both of them. It's because of these gold shiny buttons. As I think you guys know, I do really love a pair of Benzacs. Their jeans, their jackets, their shirts. I mean, I think I've done a video on pretty much all of them. In fact, this channel actually kind of started with a pair of Benzacs. Do not go looking for those videos. They were horrible. The beard was horrible. The jeans weren't horrible though. The jeans were very, very cool. Uh, they still are. They, they need some repair. And actually I've got a video on that coming up soon. God damn it, Matt. Right, focus. Right. Anyway, yeah, the Benzac stuff is amazing, but I'm also super tight with Len, the founder, and every so often when a new thing or a new collection comes up, he asks me to take a look, and some new things have come out, so I'm taking a look. He gave me pretty much free reign for the, the pieces that I wanted to, to review, but as we, as we discussed things, as we were talking over the, the collection and the pieces that I could possibly look at, I realized we were kind of missing something. Gene's reviews are kind of like, okay, Here's a pair of jeans, this is why they're this shit or they're shit. There's value in that, certainly, but I think for Benzac as a brand, and the level at, at which the, that brand has reached, there's, there's much more to be said when you, when you look at the, the collection as a total, the entire offering. I think this is going to give a much more rounded perspective about the brand's identity. We know that Benzac make great jeans, that, that's pretty much a given at this point, but what else do they do? How do they do that? What is the, the thinking behind the other pieces within that collection? In the end, it's pretty much just, you know, what's the vibe here? And this brings me back to another video I did. We tend to get, especially as denim heads, we tend to get far too myopic about a single piece and the details in that single piece. We miss the, the bigger picture of how this piece is really gonna, gonna fit with us is gonna fit with, with our lifestyle, our, our vibe, our, our look. This kind of myopic purchasing is the reason that I bought yellow boots. Anyway, my temporary color blindness aside, I think the, the best way to get, get a handle on where a brand is at is to put together an outfit with pieces from, from that brand. There's bound to be a vision behind the collection, right? You'd certainly hope so. The best way to get to that vision is deciding how all of these pieces work together. Long story short, let's put together an outfit. Okay, jeans, gonna start with those. I mean, Ben's at Denim Developers is first and foremost a, a jeans company. So I think that's a good place to start. And I already know the ones I'm gonna go for. I mean, I am kind of on the fence with these, but I'm curious, so why not? These 89 super slub bad boys. I mean, like, Len does listen to me. It just takes him a little bit of time to listen. I just have to kind of like incept ideas in there. Years ago, I was like, dude, you should, you should do a heavy denim. And Len was just like, nah, no, 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 move 40 more five, that's the heaviest. And fast forward five years, he's now done, I think, three heavy denims. I think the heaviest one being about 22.5 ounce. And they've all done really well. It was the same with the jackets, and now I'm working on the salvage stone washed. Okay, the fit. Since this is a heavy denim, 18 ounces, and since from April on, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on my knees. Now this isn't a career change, I'm having a kid. So yeah, I do, I want some more room. So I'm gonna go for the BDD 711s over my usual BDD 006. The reason I said I was on the fence is because I've never been that into tonal stitching. Call me old fashioned, but I've just always been much more drawn to jeans with contrast stitching. So I'm really looking forward to how these look when they're on. And I'm also looking forward to seeing how that heavier denim translates into the Benzac fits. Okay, and waist 33 and done. And next, t-shirts. You know, I've got enough white t-shirts, more than enough. I've got more than enough black t-shirts. So, right, th this olive would, would go really, really nicely, but it's not really gonna work with the, the shirt and the jacket that I have in mind. Red, no. Blue, no. Uh, this, this yellow, I do really like this yellow. Uh, and that gray would also work. So I'm just gonna get both of them. And in large and done. And while I'm here, layering. So that's a hoodie or a sweatshirt. 
And since I've got that Pimp and Mustard t-shirt, I want to show that off a bit. So I think a zip hoodie is going to be the best way to do that. And in black. Yeah, black for sure. I mean, like the gray one is, is really good. Oatmeal, oatmeal's for breakfast, it's not for an outfit. Anyway, black because I want some contrast for, for the jacket that I have in mind. And speaking of jacket, I like to think that all of these are here because of me. I mean, I like to think that, it's, it's not at all true, but anyway. I have a lot of denim jackets. I have far too, I have far too many denim jackets, as you guys know. And three of those denim jackets are from Benzac. So as much as I do really want another denim jacket from Benzac, I should probably look at something else. Luckily, I have some options. Oh, I mean like a, a black one and a, a brown duck canvas one. Black is not really going to work with the whole stolen valor thing that I've got in mind. And I've never had a duck canvas jacket before. Question is, which model? I mean, I, I do like this, this Benzac take on the Eisenhower, but I really, really like the, the fit of my Sherpa. And this one here looks like it's based in the same block. So yeah, it's gotta be this one. But honestly, it's because of these gold shiny buttons. Like really, <laughs> I swear to God, that was the thing that swung it for me. I'm gonna go for an extra large in the jacket. Now, normally I am a solid large in all of the Benzac stuff, but, you know, I'm gonna explain later why I'm going to size one up. Now, that's a complete outfit, and it's a great complete outfit, but because I'm a magpie for this shit, I noticed the shirts. In particular, the flannel shirts. I actually can't remember if Len has done flannels before. I know that he had a nice flannel fabric as the lining for a couple of the jackets, but I'm not sure if he ever went as far as making a shirt out of it. And these here, honestly, are just far more interesting than the flannel that he had in the lining. This one here, I could never ever wear because I'm Scottish. And this is just leaning a little bit too much into the jock. Get your haggis right here, chopped heart and lungs, boiled in a wee sheep's stomach, taste as good as it sounds. And so, because Scottish, it, it has to be this one. It is going to be kind of tricky with the duck jacket, only because the duck jacket is lined in the same flannel fabric, and wearing those two together would be a, a weird kind of flex. The shirt, also an extra large over a large, for the same reason as I took the jacket in an extra large over the large. That reason, I'm gonna explain later. Okay, there we go, done. Right, check out, next, next, next. By now, ouch, there we go. Okay, this is a big box, but then I guess it was a big order. You know what? There is absolutely no way I'm diving into all of this in one video. But, so I don't South Park this whole thing. That's a verb, which means a never-ending series on a regurgitated theme. So yes, yeah, so we don't do that. I am going to take a look at... Where are they? At the t-shirts. And, and the hoodie. I've really got zero idea why I threw these in the floor. But yeah, no matter how good a t-shirt and a hoodie is, and these are really, really good, there is a limited amount you can say about t-shirts and a hoodie. These are good, I mean, they, they really are. They're not, <sighs> yeah, they're not that sort of, super soft, fluffy fabric that a lot of brands go for. These, how do I get into this? Yeah, they've got some weight, they've got some heft to them. It's, the, the cotton jersey fabric, it's I think 210 grams per square meter. So yeah, it's got some bulk and it's got some, some real texture to it. I don't wanna really put it this way, is there any other way I can put it? Um, they've, they've got that kind of heritage-y feel about them. What I mean by that is, you know how people say like, they don't make them like they used to. These feel like they used to. And it's a, it's a pocket tee. My preference is always for t-shirts with a pocket. 
I've never actually found a practical use for this pocket. The only, the only thing that I think this is there for is to, to break up this big block of color that you've got across your chest. That might just be it. I don't know, if, if you guys have found a practical use for this, then let me know in the description below. Not description, the, the comments below. Right, what else, what else, what else? Um, okay, this is, this is very important in general when you're looking for t-shirts. Always look to the collar. Always make sure that there's a good quality collar. Because the collar is the first thing that tends to, to go in a t-shirt. It's the first thing that makes a t-shirt just look old and sloppy and just crap. I know from experience with my other Benzite t-shirts, which I think is in the same fabric, the collars really hold up. They look good for the, for the longer time. And I think that is pretty much it. And as I said, there's, there's a limited amount you can say about t-shirts. Um, yeah, aside from they're good, there's a good collar, there's, there's a pocket, I like the pocket, and uh, oh, there's a dope label. Now, the hoodie. The hoodie is, is also a case of um, like they used to. You know when you're, when you're rummaging around a, a thrift store and you come across that really good sweatshirt or hoodie? I mean, this wasn't something that was bought in a mall 30 years ago. It wasn't something that comes from the Gap in the 90s. It was probably part of a, of a school sports team or it was part of the uniform for, for a maintenance crew. That is what this feels like. I mean, aesthetically, it also leans pretty heavy on, on the heyday of the, the sweatshirt or the hoodie. What I mean by that is like those old vintage velvet sheen. I mean, it's, it's really, it's pulling from that with, with this white tape in the zipper and then also these sort of white tape uh, drawstrings here. And I'm super, super happy that, that, that it has that. So there are those nods to the classic, but it's also got a much more modern fit. It's got a much more modern shape. I really appreciate that slightly sim slimmer body and that sort of longer length. That, that I think works much better than those vintage ones. And now the fabric, the jersey fabric, that is I think 150 GSM, so grams per square meter. It's, it's a really, really good weight for a hoodie. And it's got a very, very nice hand to it. It feels really, really good. I, what I like about it, I mean the, the black is a nice deep dark black color, but I'm quite sure that as I wear this in, as I use this, as it goes in the wash, which is gonna get washed quite often, I, I think it's gonna fade to like that really nice, vintage, dusty black. Just, again, this, this speaks to the fact that this is something that's made, that's made well, that is gonna wear down very, very beautifully. And with that, I also really like that it's, it's black on the outside and it's um, got this kind of whitish gray color on the inside. I, I think that adds another, another dimension to the piece. So it's not just one solid block of black. And there's a couple of other things I really appreciate as well. One of which is this two-way talon zipper. I just find that very, very practical. And also the very, very wide cuffs and waistband. They're also really great. And the pockets, well, I've got kind of a love-hate relationship with pockets and hoodies. For one thing, they are very useful. They are very practical. But they're also another place for me just to lose my keys on my own body. But that aside, these ones are a decent size. They're well-placed. And they've got a nice little bullhorn logo right here, which I think should be on the t-shirts as well. Yeah, it, it is on the t-shirts. Okay, that's the tees, that's the hoodie. And I think I am gonna leave it there for now in terms of, of product review. But just look how well this goes together already. And also this, I, I'm starting to get a, a feel for the narrative of the brand just by putting together these three pieces. And when we put together the jeans, the jacket, and the shirt, that's going to further round out this, this, this perception, this idea of the brand. And actually, speaking of that, do you guys want to see, do you want to see the jeans next, or do you want to see the jacket next? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. Just let me know in the comments below. And when you're on your way down there, guys, you're going to be passing that like button. You're going to be passing that subscribe button. It'd be amazing if you have liked this video, of course, but it'd be amazing if you've liked this video, if you give it a thumbs up. That does really help us out. And if, if you're into this kind of stuff, then just hit that subscribe button. And that just leaves me to say, guys, as always, I hope everyone is happy and healthy out there. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next video.